Welcome, Geminis, to the urban jungle in Cancun, Mexico, and your November heart spread. This is to read the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot. Here, mid-November, guys. Think mid-November time frame. Uh, this eight-card read ends up in the shape of a heart. Look at you and your person. I'm astrologer too, so I'm always thinking astrology. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for these reads. Uh, first off, um, we'll look at the first house, the seventh house. You and your person get an idea of how things are going and advice from spirit, and then advice on the relationship and an outcome. And do check out the Soul Family read. Um, also, there's a daily collective read for just whoever resonates. Uh, See if you think you might relate to that. If you know Terrence McKenna, I always think of Terrence saying, find the others. You know, I think uh, when you're different and everything, you just kind of assume, you know, it's like it's you and nobody else. And, and then you, you discover there's like a whole world of people that are simpatico. And that's the soul family. So I know if I read, there's going to be a lot of people that are in, in simpatico with me. A lot of people won't. <laughs> That's not what counts. <laughs> it's like love. I told my friend, it seems hard, but when you think about it, you really only need one person. <laughs> so, you don't even need two. Okay. Well, we're just gonna, I was gonna take that three of pentacles. Okay. Gemini. Gemini. Hanged man. It's like you didn't want to come out. You're so hanged that you don't want to come out. This is your energy in and around love and relationships for this mid-November time frame. I try to see this as a baseline energy for you on your own and yourself, your own energy detached for a moment energetically from whatever you might be feeling for another person. Um... You know, this is major arcana. These are things outside of our control. Minor arcana, our belly weight. Um, but this, you know, two things. You place yourself in this position. And this is your energy. Um, and to me, it implies someone who is following a spiritual path. I mean, it's not practicing yourself upside down. Just see things from a different perspective, you know. Um, it's exactly the kind of thing that, you know, normal society might frown upon as being a bit eccentric, to say the least. So this is uh, where you're at. Um, it shows, too, like a dedication to the spiritual path, and particularly around love and relationship. Like, um, uh, you may be taking it very seriously. I like the hangman and also the hermit kind of go together. It's both the energy of kind of looking at it from a different perspective but what's my perspective like what do i need to see differently what do i have to do differently it's kind of a great energy to come into a relationship with you know um uh, because you know you could be in a hanged man energy and it's kind of peaceful and it's calm and you're sort of got your head turned around and you're seeing things uh, from a, a good perspective um and now it's kind of the energy of as you come into your seventh house well, what can they show me? Which is good. And rather than, oh my God, do they like me? Am I fat in this? Am I sexy to them? You're just kind of like, hmm, what do they got to show me? Well, let's see what they got to show you. Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're being difficult. So your person, this is their energy in and around relationship. Again, detached from you. Looking at them, a baseline, kind of where they're at. So remember, you're probably leading this to a swords energy which is a terrible energy to come into a relationship with, it probably means they're, they're, they're still like emotionally or involved or even physically involved with someone. Um, it hasn't actually been severed yet. Um, and so another thing about the hanged man, same could be the downside to the hanged man. There can be a, an energy of fear of intimacy on the scale to, I know I'm just not ready yet. And I know I'm just not ready yet. It's cool. That's like what we're supposed to do. Uh, but if it's kind of like, no, I'm ready. And I'm kind of really just afraid now uh, to get, you know, vulnerable again. Um, you might choose someone that's in this energy. Just saying or bring them to you. 
energetically, Jim and I, because like with this person, it's like no matter what you do, you know, they don't know what to do. This is like saying, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. To themselves, they're saying that, to their friends, maybe to you. How you're feeling about them? Three of Swords. Wow. So, if you're feeling about them in the Three of Swords energy, clearly um, you feel hurt by them. Um, I think you were holding yourself out, and it was a, a lot of this hangman energy is protective energy. Mostly what we're doing. We're not assholes, by and large. We're trying to protect ourselves in one way or another. And so they did this to you. They made you feel this way. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Clarify the real, uh, Wheel of Fortune uh, spirit. Got the four swords on the bottom of the deck. With the Empress card. Okay, uh, guys. Um, what happened was they chose... Uh, Taurus person, strong Venus person, man or woman. I think they literally chose them over you. Sometimes this does mean choice. You know, but it's like they, they, they came into your relationship. And I think they took advantage with this. Actually, it's a Jupiter card, right? Um, I think there's some element with the Wheel of Fortune where they took advantage of something of you but they literally choose this who to them is an empress and that's got to be hard because then you may see the person they choose as an empress like I'm not good enough male or female the empress energy feeling really good enough uh, ample being able to provide for even others and being you know, uh, being a Venusian, and Venus and Taurus, heaven on earth, bountiful. And this is your advice, Queen of Pentacles energy now. I feel like we're in a tussle here. I don't see this as a relationship unless, you know, you were to somehow attach onto it. And Queen of Pentacles is very much saying, don't do that. Know what you are here. You might be in hangman position, but you're Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles can meet the Empress. That's fine. You know, when we, you know, that that's someone that can meet the Empress. You know, you might say the Queen of Pentacles in line to be the Empress. You know, um, and this is advice from Spirit in relation to your person. So it's trying to tell you don't judge yourself. Uh, and you know, I know this is corny as fuck. This, to me, right now, it's screaming, rejection is God's protection. Rejection is God's protection. It's like the reason you're feeling rejected right now is you are being protected. This comes under the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles can take care of you. It could be like a blessing, too, having enough. The Eight of Wands. So this energy is coming out to you. I got to tell you, it, it's purely sexual energy. So they're projecting onto you some inner conflict. Remember, this is your first house projecting your anima animus out to look at this reading. It's always kind of like sinistry and sinistry. You can see these things being repeated, these themes, you know. Um, and they come at you like some kind of opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune here, not really positive, huh? Um, and I think they're gonna, and Spirit is advising them, you know, really it's advising you at this point because I don't see this being a, a reading, so now all the advice becomes for you. And, you know, it's relevant for you anyway. They're gonna come at you again, you know? They're gonna come at you again with this sexual energy, the same kind of energy. And now, your advice is, remember, you're the Queen of Pentacles. Like the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles doesn't worry about how they look or whether people like them or not. You're calm and in control and in command, self-contained. Um, here, there's a Venusian quality, very beautiful. The Queen of Pentacles can be counted on to take good care of the kingdom, Pentacle Kingdom. 
people have what they need you have what you need that kind of energy stem well knowing your own value too and maybe maybe you just are literally saying like i'm worth more than eight of wands here's the advice for the relationship if you know me this is my favorite card in the ethereal this is illuminated tarot deck the jim morrison king of cups this is advice for the relationship as a whole which now I see this as advice for you. So really this is not about your person. You're kind of looking over at them, looking over at this eight of wands. And I think with the king of cups here, understanding emotions and the queen, that's you being solid, queen of pentacles. Um, this person probably coming to you as well. You're probably not going to them. That's how it all starts. They come to you. They're going to come to you again. And this is the advice for you now. The king and the queen. Emotions and stability. Earth. Boundaries. Uh, grounded. Being grounded. And a master of emotions. Emotional intelligence. Emotionally. We started off wondering. The hanged man. Maybe that's about not wanting to be vulnerable again. Boom, you get hurt right out of the chute. Very vulnerable. And so now, as with the King of Cups, it's just, you know, you can master this, your life. You understand what's going on here. And when you have the King of Queen energy, this outcome now is for you. And I think this is your person coming in here. And you very much could read an Aries into this, but definitely a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius energy. Uh, someone that is uh, the one that's uh, meant for you, not this person, not even related to this person. It might very well be Leo. You have the you have the lion's head thrown. I forgot what this deck, right? And um, very confident looking. So someone that, that speaks up. They're very confident. They're probably attractive, male or female, outgoing, um, extroverted. Um, funny maybe comfortable in themselves um, outspoken uh, that kind of thing um, affable likable life of the party and this is all just coming like as a natural process as you kind of go through this here Jim and I and realize that you know um, you're not going to get played. You've got the King of Cups under the King of Wands as the outcome. So, you know, you're bringing in earth, water, fire, and, you know, this just looks really good to me. It's probably not working out in, uh, the way you thought, you know, um, but it, this this King of Wands, oh, look at the... Uh, uh, also up today is the singles reading and see what I do. I haven't done it yet, but it'll be up by the time this goes out and uh, see what I describe who shows up for uh, Gemini's. Uh, okay, guys. Remember, Tuesday's always Gemini and uh, Cancer Day for Dave Sky Tarot. Uh, give me right thumbs up. Tell friend, tell friend. Do subscribe. Thank you, guys.